Greetings everyone! This is a short video to help you figure out how to solve case 1, the online meeting. As you can see from these case requirements, you're supposed to facilitate an online team retrospective. And Group Map offers a number of retrospective templates that you can choose from. First of all, let's look at this map, Module 2, Tools for your facilitation process. This map lists all the available Group Map templates organized according to the stage of the group decision cycle. As you can see in the last column, follow-up and reflection. Most of the group map retrospective templates are listed here. Besides, within group map, whenever you want to create a map, if you choose retrospective, retrospectives category, you'll see listed all the available retrospective templates in group map. I have made a selection of the most relevant ones for this case that I'm going to talk to you about next. Hot Air Balloon Retrospective. This template takes in the metaphor of traveling in a hot air balloon. So it inquires the group about what are the items that make us fly, what are the things that keep us down, and it also reserves space for hugs and kudos, that is an important element of team recognition. Sailboat Retrospective takes on the metaphor of sailing in the boat and asks the group about what are the key wind drivers, what are the anchors, impediments that block the group, and what are the risks in the shapes of rocks that the team needs to face. Rock Retrospective. This one is a four quadrant retrospective and be aware that with a four quadrant retrospective, you're going to probably spend more time with your team on the items. It's different four quadrant than the, a simpler three quadrant retrospective. Wrap retrospective take, takes on four elements. Wishes for an ideal sprint, appreciations, what you liked, risks, future pitfalls, puzzles, and answered questions. Four L's retrospective. This is another four quadrant retrospective that takes the elements of liked items, the items that you as a team lack, the items that you as a team long for, and the learning points. Tacky retrospective, it's another four quadrant retrospective that takes in items that should be dropped, items that should be kept, items that the team should be adding, and in improvement area. Flap Retrospective takes on the future considerations, the accomplishments of the team, lessons learned, and problem areas. The Ride Log. This is another four quadrant retrospective that takes on the risks that the team is facing, the issues that the team encounters, the assumptions that the, she the team shares, and the dependencies. What do we need as an essential input from another project or piece of work? Starfish Retrospective. This is a five quadrant retrospective. It inquires the group about the activities that it should start doing, the activities that the team should stop doing, of course also the activities that the, it should, the team should keep doing and what should the team do more of and what should the team do less of. Remember, this is a five quadrant retrospective, so you allow for more time in case you choose a starfish retrospective.